welcome back to another episode of the Sit Down with Soleil. Today is episode number four. I know I've been gone for a while, but I hope you got your drinks ready. Sit down, relax, and um, let's talk about it. So as you can see from the title of this video, today's episode is about my paranormal experience and why I had to stop watching that show then. Now, if you've been watching the past two weeks, the show is trending. It's called Them. It was on Amazon Prime. And um, it got a little creepy. So we're going to get into that. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about my very first and only paranormal experience. Let's just get into it. Disclaimer, before we start, as y'all know, I'm not going to be using nobody names in this video. Because these are real stories, real events that really happened. So this is not meant to tarnish anyone's name it's just what happened so the year is 2015 what is it called pov whatever i'm in college uh it's 2015 it's my junior year well the summer of my junior year i'm going into my senior year of college at north carolina at aggie Pride. but um so when i was in college as some of y'all may or may not know, um, I ran track on a full scholarship, so therefore I never stayed on campus. I never lived on campus. I was in an apartment. So this particular year, I was moving from the team apartments to these fancy apartments by UNCG on the white side of town. And um, they was real fancy, so I was excited to move from up out of the university because um, it was so ghetto where I was staying. It was ghetto. And that's just that. It was shootings, people really died in my parking lot. Like, people was getting, I got robbed one time. Like, it was a lot going on. So, I was happy to move to the other side of town. You feel me? So, anyway, my lease was up on like a certain day, and I legit had like four weeks until I could move into my place. So, in those four weeks, my homegirl let me stay in her apartment because she doesn't have to not be there for the summer. So I was in a relationship at this time. So, um, and my boyfriend at the time was staying down there with me over the summer because most students don't stay over the summer, no, normally just athletes stay. So he was staying with me over the summer, had a little summer job and that's what was going on. So therefore we both stayed in her apartment until my apartment got ready. Boom. So we're staying in her apartment um, only for a few weeks. Now her apartment, pretty, it's pretty much in the same vicinity. So it's not like hers in a better, better area. It's literally across the street from where I am. So, her apartment complex, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much the same. I'm, I'm building a story to show y'all like the apartments are the same. It's not, it's not like I went to a trap house. Like it was a regular apartment with locks on the doors, electric locks. You feel me? Okay, electric locks, we're gonna leave it right there. The backstory on the apartment. So if you ever been in a college dorm that's already pre-furnished, then you know in the summertime, people move out. All the doors are locked and the furniture stays in the room. If, you're, if your apartment is pre-furnished, the furniture stays in the room and the doors are locked. That is a fact. So there was nobody in the apartment but me and the person I was with at the time. All the rooms were locked, all the rooms were empty. There was no one in the entire house, again, but me and this dude, okay? So this particular day, um, back then I love scary movies. Like I didn't really see them scary. Like I thought they were just interesting thrillers on the edge of my seat. I love suspense, boom. So this day we watched legit no cap like four to five scary movies back to back and none of them were like od scary but they all was like and back then i used to love insidious like i really used to all the paranormals like i used to really be into them so they didn't tell them what we was been watching so we was watching like again like four to five movies back to back to back to back to back no drugs no smoking no anything all, all i had was maybe a beer or like a little um wine cooler and my hookah just hookah, just shisha, just water, like no drugs, no LSD, no anything, just us, all right? So after this last movie goes off, we're in that, we already picked the next movie, so we're in like a little movie break. I'm about to change out the shisha and just, you know, intermission. So he goes in the bathroom and when he's in the bathroom, I hear this big, <laughs> like it sounds like a dresser like I fell all the way over and I hit the ground. So I'm like, you hear that? And we, you know how you tips around and like you hear something. So we both tips around and we stop and we hear another. <laughs> so I'm like, time out. I thought one nobody in here. I thought these doors were locked. I thought it was just us in here. What is going on? Who was here? So I'm like, okay, <laughs> we tripping. <laughs> we tripping. Cause ain't no way I'm finna be in nobody scared movie today. So that's, that's where I was. So, 
we just waiting to see what else we hear. And the next thing I know, I hear the couch in the living room literally sliding across the freaking floor as if somebody is outside pushing the furniture around in the common area. So at this point, somebody broke in the house. Somebody had to have broken the house. So I'm like, is somebody in the house? I think they broke in the house. I don't know what they want because we got nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot of whisper going on and a lot of confusion. All right? So at this point, we just like, you know what? I don't know. So we call the police. We like, yo, think somebody broke in. We hear people in the house. We hear stuff going on. We ain't trying to get, we ain't trying to get got. So the police is like, well, you know, technically your name is on this lease, so we don't, you don't have authority. To, you don't have the authority to give us to kick your door in. So they call the lady on the phone, and I don't want. It's like the police are telling me to tell you to come open the front door. The police are telling me to tell you to cut to open the door. So the police want me to go out there and in harm's way. And that's all job to go to protect and serve. I didn't go to school for this. I don't got no badge. I'm just here, a student. They wanted me to go out there and do their job for them, so they could clean up my body. I'm like, I've seen enough movies to know. Nah, because even the people that got guns, the ghosts still be getting y'all. So I ain't about to go out there. All right, that's just that. They told me to go out there. I told them no. So they told my boyfriend at the time to go out there. And that's when the story gets even more hilarious. All right, so the police are getting trying to get me to come. I'm like, no, no, no. So I'm like, yo, you got to go. Like, they want one of us to go out there because they're not coming in. We have to go out. So we looking at each other like... He is literally pacing back and forth, like. And I'm looking at this man like, the seconds are ticking. My life could be going down the drain right now and you sitting here having a self-contemplation self conference meeting with all of you at the same time while we just sitting here in harm's way. So I was like, you know what? I'ma do it. So I stood up. I said, I'm faster. I run track, I can hurdle over the couch. This is really like my logic at this time. I'm like, I can hurdle over the couch. I can get to the door in like three seconds. I, in crunch time, I'm clumsy. Like you give me the keys, open the door, I'm fumbling the keys, we dying. Like, I don't know why. I never had any intention to go out there, but I knew that I worked to get him to go. And it worked, because after I said that, he was like, no, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Bet. So he goes to the door. I see this with my own two eyes. I'm standing here watching him open the door. He goes to the door, he turns to the deadbolt lock. The actual door doesn't have a lock. Those, those apartments is just a deadbolt lock. Opens the deadbolt. I see him turn the handle. I see him pulling the door. Like nothing's happening. It's really as if somebody is on the other side pulling the door to the point where he locked the door back and was like, and when he locked the door back and let the door go, I was still in the bathroom. So like the bathroom's here, the door's here. So I'm looking at him. We're really close. Like the, the door in the bathroom is mad close. When he let go of the door, I literally heard somebody take two footsteps back away from the door, like back in front of the bathroom. So I was like, oh, I'm on the phone. Like, I just heard them. They're, they won't let us out the room. They won't let us out the door. Like, I just heard them take footsteps. Like I could hear the footsteps walking around the apartment. Like I'm not tripping. This is not downstairs. My ear is to the wall. My ear is at the door and I hear it coming through the door. I hear it coming through the wall. So I'm like, we're like, no, we're not coming out. We're not coming out here to my home. like, girl, they about to kick your door in. She like, just pay me back. So the police come in, kick the door in. They got their guns drawn. Thank God that this was not in this day and time. This ain't no telling what would have happened. I got dreads too. Jesus Christ. Anyway, they came in, guns drawn, flashlights and everything. Man, they pulled him outside, talked to him. They pulled me outside to come talk to me. They like, ma'am, have you been taking, have you had any drugs tonight? Have you been drinking any alcohol? Have you been, have you consumed anything? Have you, because we don't see anything in this house. There's nothing here. All the doors are locked. Everything is secure. We don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you haven't had any drugs? I'm like, nigga, it's only Shisha in this hookah. Ain't nobody had no drugs. I'm still running track. If I could smoke right now, I would smoke. No, I'm clean. Like, and they tried to tell, they tried to tell us that what we heard was our neighbors from downstairs. These walls are really thin, you know. These college apartments are built really cheap, so you could have just heard one of your neighbors downstairs. First of all, they ain't my neighbors because I don't even live here. Okay, that's that. Second of all, no. 
and they really try to convince us that what we see and what we thought we saw what we saw and what we seen <laughs> not today so we packed up and stayed in a hotel because what because why what anyway that's the story of what happened now as a lot of y'all know my dad was a pastor and my dad preached on a lot of spiritual warfare going on not just churchy stuff real stuff like it's really good and bad spirits whether you believe in angels demons whatever it's a good and a bad side beyond what we can see beyond what we can feel and my dad used to tell me growing up like when you watch anything you watch you listen your ear gate your eye gate whatever you allow and those are literally gates to your soul so whatever you allow to enter whatever you allow in there whatever energy whatever spirit is in a movie whatever spirit is in a song you keep putting that stuff and feeding yourself that stuff into you long enough something in you is gonna open up or you're gonna open up something around you you know what i'm saying like i don't know and since then i have not watched scary movies because fear is real fear is like one of the besides love you know what i'm saying like the biggest vibration like yo so if fear can creep into any situation, that means anything can be manifested. Like, if you see a movie, that thing you see in that movie can and will manifest itself if you have that much fear and every day you really... That's going to happen. Like, that's... I know that sounds crazy, but that is really real. And I I thought it was just all talk, this mumbo jumbo. I could watch whatever I want as long as I pray, as long as I'm spiritually... Nah. So that's... that's, that's that is that. I had no experiences since then. That was just that. The closest thing I've had since then is when I watched the show this. So fast forward to 2021, right now, grown woman, daddy, you feel me? Pure, new man in me. And to now, spiritually stronger, mentally, physically, just everywhere stronger. So I'm thinking, ain't no way that I'm about to, ain't no way that the armor is too strong. But them, yeah, I had to stop because I don't know what it got going on. So I randomly came across them because I was on YouTube and the preview popped up. And I was like, oh, let me click on them. Because I was like, them, us, them, us. Like, what? Is it a sequel? The whole time, nothing to do with us. So um, I watched it. I was like, oh, show this one to the bay. And it was oh, we got to watch this. So we started watching it. You know, episode by episode. I'm like, okay, it's not that bad, not that bad. You know, I started having dreams. I'm a dreamer. I have I have vivid dreams, like, and I interpret my dreams. You know, God give me. That's just my thing. And, um. I mean, that's one of my gifts. So I started having dreams about the, if you watch the show, you know, the black man had the little, um, the black face man with the white on his face. I started seeing him in my dreams. Like the first night I had a dream and I was looking at something that was like black and the face just turned into his face and the face started growing bigger. And I just like, <gasps> like woke up like, whoa. So that was the first night. Then kept watching the show. Then the second night I had to jump. I went to the bathroom. I came out the bathroom and I was, I'm, I'm, I'm facing like the bathroom door. So nobody sleeps with the bathroom door open unless you're like a psychopath, right? So I closed the door. No, I started to close it and I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna just leave it a little bit because I'm gonna have to use the bathroom again. And I left it cracked like maybe, maybe this, it was not even a lot. I took a mental note of how much, how much it was cracked because I felt like I've been tweaking lately. So I'm like, yo, I'm looking to see how much it was cracked. So in my dream, something else happens. And again, his face appears and it starts growing. And this time it just feels like it's all old, like it's surrounding me. And I wake up, like, you know how you kind of wake up slowly. I can see the, and, and the dream is flashing like red and uh, black. And I can see the door like opening and I'm like trying to wake up and I'm like, wake up. And the door like kind of stopped. And I'm like, yo, what? So I was just like, yeah, I'm done. Not doing it. And then Bay said he was having some weird dreams too. And then my brother was like, people was having weird dreams too. And then every time I posted about it, everybody was saying like, yeah, they had some creepy dreams. Now I, my dreams are very vivid. That's why I personally had to stop. I was just, I just felt like if I kept watching it, my dreams was gonna get more and more intense. And what I'm going through right now, what the walk I'm going through right now, this spiritual journey I'm on right now, I'm very, I can't be open to everything. You know what I'm saying? It's a war going on. And um, that's all I can say on that. But um, yeah, so overall, that's my paranormal experience. Um, hopefully those are the only ones I ever have, ever. 
in life and that's why i stay with the scary movie so if y'all had some of the same experiences with that show or had a different experience then drop some comments below let me know what y'all thought about the show or if you ever had a crazy experience like that let's talk about it uh, so thank y'all so much for watching thank you for tuning in um thank y'all for sitting down with me and i want to see y'all next week on episode five of the sit down with so late we got some good topics so um yeah tune in with me make sure you like subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and stay connected y'all be safe